Hello children, in the last video we learned mirror formula and lens formula. Today we will learn its applications, how to solve numerical problems using the formulas, also how to apply the sign convention. Welcome back AC way to physics with Jaya. We can go to the formulas once again. Mirror formula is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Where V is the distance of the image from the mirror, U is the distance of the object from the mirror and F is the focal length of the mirror. Magnification for mirrors. We can calculate it using the formula M is equal to HI divided by HO where HI is the height of the image, HO is the height of the object. That is equal to minus V by U. Remember this negative sign comes in magnification of mirrors. HI by HO is equal to negative V by U when we apply the sign convention. For the lenses, the formula is 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Here also one negative sign is there. In the case of lens formula, there is a negative sign. Whereas in the case of magnification of mirrors also, there is a negative sign. And same as uh, mirrors, lenses also magnification is equal to HA divided by HO is equal to V by U. Now we can see how to solve numericals. Read the question. The image of a candle of size 2 cm is formed on a screen when the candle is at a distance of 30 cm from the concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should the screen be placed to get a sharp image? What will be the size and nature of the image formed? To solve the question, we have to read the question once again, identify what are the given things and what is the formula should be used. For that, the image of a candle of size 2 cm, that means size of the object HO, that is equal to 2 cm, is formed uh, on a screen when the candle is at a distance of 30 cm. That means object is at a distance of 30 cm or U is equal to 30 cm. From a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. That means F is equal to 15 cm. So we wrote the three given things HO is equal to 2, U is equal to 3, 30 and F is equal to 15 cm. At what distance from the mirror should be the screen be placed to get a sharp image? That means V we have to find out. Then one more thing we have to find out what is it? What will be the size and nature of the image formed? That means HI. If we get HI, we can predict the nature of the image. So first we have to find out V. What is the formula should be used for that? That is the mirror formula. That is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Or Substituting the values 1 by V plus 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by 15. And we get 1 by V is equal to 1 by 15 minus 30. LCM is equal to 30. So solving the question, we get V is equal to 30 cm. That means distance of the image from the mirror is equal to 30 cm. Now in step 2, we have to find out HI by substituting the value of HO, V and U. We can find out HI. Then we get the formula is HI by HO is equal to negative V by U. This negative sign is important for mirrors. 
whereas for uh, lenses we don't have this negative sign so what we get hi divided by 2 is equal to negative 30 by 30 or hi is equal to negative 2 centimeter now how can we predict the nature of the image we got at height of the image as negative 2 centimeters that means we get an inverted image image is inverted also inverted images we are getting in the real case inverted images are real also so ha is equal to hu that means height of the image is the same as height of the object so nature of the image we can uh, say like that image will be of the same size that of the object and it is real and inverted also next question a convex lens forms a real and inverted image of a 2 cm height object at 20 cm away from the lens what would be the size of the image formed if the focal length of the lens is 10 cm convex lens forms a real and inverted image of a 2 cm height object that means ho is equal to 2 cm at 20 cm away from the lens image is formed at 20 cm away from the lens means that v is equal to 20 cm what would be the size of the image that is hi is equal to question mark we have to find it out if the focal length of the lens is 10 cm f is also given that is 10 cm now we have to find out hi which formula we will use hi divided by ho is equal to v by u that is the formula for the lenses positive v by u so substitute the value of ho v and u we get hi but we know the value of ho here we know the value of v but we don't know the value of u so for that we have to find out the u which formula we will use the lens formula we will use what is lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u substitute the values 1 by 10 is equal to v is equal to 20 so 1 by 20 minus 1 by u or 1 by u is equal to bringing 1 by u to the left side we get 1 by 20 minus 1 by 10 you know how to calculate all these things 1 by 10 we have to bring the other side then lcm because the new denominators are of different numbers we have to find the lcm of 10 and 20 lcm also will be 20 in the previous question i told you how to find out the lcm now 20 into what is 20 20 into 1 is 20 10 into 2 is 20 so 1 minus 2 we get 1 minus 2 divided by 20 that is negative 1 by 20 is equal to 1 by u or u is equal to negative 20 centimeter this is the value of u we are getting see u is equal to negative 20 now this value of u we have to substitute in the previous equation to get hi see how hi is equal to here hi is equal to ho into v divided by u so ho is equal to 2 v is equal to 20 u is equal to negative 20 we get the answer as negative 2 centimeter as hi that is height of the image is negative 2 centimeter uh, ho is also 2 centimeter this negative sign shows that image is inverted so we get an inverted image since inverted images all are real it is a real image also so the nature of the image we can predict it as inverted and real image also si size is the same same size of the object same size of object this is how we are predicting the nature of the image. Hope you understood. Please practice more and more questions.
and if you have any doubt come to the comment box hope you understood the topic well now to do it well during exam you have to practice it at least 10 questions on one topic for example if you take on k mirror practice 10 questions on that another convex mirror practice another 10 questions like that you have to practice to get it done during exam if you sit and think in the examination hall what is happening is you will not be able to complete the uh, paper full during exam so be thorough with the topic in such a way that all the answers are at the tip of your pen then only you can score very good mark so if you have any doubt, please come in the comment box. And if you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.